Hi, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. Demand for solar is sky high right across the world at the moment and because of that prices have skyrocketed over the last couple of years. So if you're looking to get into solar for your own property and if you're fortunate enough to actually obtain quotations from potential installers, you'll have seen some eye-watering numbers in there, much higher than they were two years ago. So what do you do? In many countries, electricity prices have risen substantially over the last few years and they don't look like they're coming down again anytime soon. You might be feeling then that you've no choice but to bite the bullet now before prices increase any further. But I'd like to show you in this video that waiting a couple of years might be a far better option. Intrigued? Let me explain why. In 2020, a typical solar installation would cost around £10,000. In order to calculate the return on that level of investment, we can use a chart like this, which looks at cumulative spend over a period of years. If no investment into solar was made, we would simply be paying for electricity consumption, which is shown by this line. In the UK, this might be just over £2,500 in the first year, then another £2,500 in the second year, and the same again in the third year so 7,500 cumulatively over that time. Instead though, we're making our 10,000 pound solar investment up front as shown by the green line. Then we're still paying electricity, but our bills are a lot less now because of the investment we've made. This can be seen in the line, which has a much gentler slope. Now these two lines cross at some point, which is significant because this is where we've cumulatively spent the same amount of money if we had or had not made the investment into solar. The break-even point, and in our example here, this happens in just after five years. And from this point forward, our solar investment starts to save us money. But all this is if we had made our investment in 2020. If we make that investment now, at the end of 2022, things are slightly different. Prices have increased substantially, and that same solar installation now costs £15,000, a 50% increase. We can see the effect of that on our chart. Essentially, it pushes out the break-even period by two and a half years. So what's driving this price increase? Well, it's all down to supply and demand. Let's start by looking at demand. We all know that in many parts of the world, energy prices have risen substantially over the last couple of years. And as a result, many people are now looking at solar as a means of controlling their energy costs, thereby increasing demand. In the same time frame, many governments have provided new financial incentives as a means of encouraging the take-up of solar installations on domestic properties, further increasing demand. Let's now look at supply. Worldwide semiconductor shortages over the last few years have affected the availability of solar-related products, including solar panels and batteries, just like with other electronic goods. This has resulted in long waiting lists on many of the popular solar items today. Additionally, those companies able to install solar at your home have limited or no capacity to take on new installations at this time, given the current demand and they can't easily expand their operations as there is not enough qualified expertise available in the market today and it will take time for new engineers to be trained. So this perfect storm of increased demand and limited supply results in drastically increased prices for anyone wanting solar today. And these increased prices have a knock-on effect with demand because people are worried that prices will continue to rise and so seek to buy now before they do, a fear of missing out. OK, so all this sounds like doom and gloom for those thinking about getting solar any time in the next few months. But it's always worth stepping back and looking at the data before making any decisions. Here is a chart from Global Data which shows the average cost of rooftop solar installations in the US since 2013. The link for this chart is in the video description. You can see that those costs, expressed as cost per watt of solar power, have been steadily decreasing over time essentially more than halving by 2020. This decrease in costs is typical of most product categories over time. New innovations in technology, materials and production processes constantly improve products and bring costs down. But in 2021 and 2022, we see the costs rising again, and we understand why this is after looking at the supply and demand considerations. So what can we expect to see in 2023 and onwards? More price rises? 
Well, actually, no. Global data predicts that the cost will start to fall again, with the cost of a solar system in 2024 being the same as it was back in 2020. So what does that mean for us if we wait two years before taking the plunge and buying a solar installation? Well, looking at our payback chart again, we can see what that effect will be. For the first two years, because we're not buying the solar installation just yet, we'll continue to pay for our electricity consumption. Then, in two years' time, we make our investment, which you'll note is now only £10,000, given the expected price decrease by then. After this point, we pay less for our electricity, given that we're generating most of it ourselves. What's interesting here is that even though we waited for two years before investing, the payback period is almost a year earlier than it would have been if we'd invested now. That's quite remarkable. Now, nobody can accurately predict the future, and my analysis here is based on the data that I'm seeing in the industry, and you may want to conduct your own independent analysis before making any decisions. But if your primary aim is to save money with solar, then waiting two years could actually be your best option. To help with that, here are some of the pros and cons of pushing the button now or waiting a couple of years. Pushing the button now could mean a higher outlay and longer payback time. You'll be limited to only those installers who have capacity to take you on. And this brings a risk that you end up with a cowboy installer. New markets always bring about opportunists looking to make a quick buck at your expense. You'll also be limited by what equipment is available and may end up having to compromise on your choices. Finally, buying now means that you might miss out on new products that are soon to come to market. On the other hand, waiting two years means a much lower outlay for the same installation and a quicker payback time. You'll also have a far greater choice of installers and solar products by that time as the market grows. In addition, you'll be able to take advantage of any new cheaper and better products coming to the market during that time. And generally, you'll have a much better insight of what will be a much more mature solar market by then. So what would you do with that extra time whilst you're waiting? Well, it's time you can use to do more research into the technology, especially now that there's no pressure knowing that your buying decision is a while away. And of course, as part of that research, I thoroughly recommend you watch my other videos on the channel, which aim to cover all aspects of solar technology and also the market. You could also start to prepare for your solar journey by switching your energy supplier to one that is 100% focused on a renewable future. If you live in the UK, that supplier is Octopus Energy. And if you phone them with my referral code, we both get £50 credit when you join. This money helps support my channel, so a huge thank you to all my viewers who have already made that switch. You could also join a solar forum where you can ask questions and learn about people's experiences. Again, if you're in the UK, just start the camera on your mobile phone and point it at this QR code to join a forum that has over 22,000 members to date and is growing rapidly. Thanks for watching this video and for all your support this year. I really, really appreciate it. I started with a single video back in June, with the idea being to save people as much time as I could whilst they were researching the topic of solar. And because of the great feedback I received, I made a few more videos, and this video is my seventh in fact. It's getting quite serious now, and it's taking more and more of my time, but it's definitely worth it getting all this feedback from you. I've got a lot more topics I'd like to cover next year, and so I look forward to bringing you more videos over the coming months. I wish you all the best for 2023. We're living in crazy times, but please try to stay positive and make the best of all the opportunities that come your way. See you next year.